sericulture. Another economically important insect is the silkworm. We obtain the fibers of silk from the secretions of the silkworm. The breeding and management of silkworms for the commercial production of silk is called sericulture. Sericulture is an important industry in Japan, China, India, Italy, France and Spain. There are four types of natural silk which are commercially known and produced in the world. Among them, mulberry silk is the most important and is alone constitutes for 90% of world silk production. Therefore, the term silk in general refers to the silk of the mulberry silkworm, Bombyx mori. Bombyx mori is the only living species of family Bombycidae, domesticated by man. In India, the major mulberry silk producing states are Karnataka, West Bengal and Jammu and Kashmir. Three other commercially important types that fall into the category of non-mulberry silks are tussar silk, muga silk and airy silk. The tussar silkworms belong to the genus Antheria royale. The larvae of this genus are reared in wild mostly on Arjuna trees. In India, they are chiefly reared in the states of Bihar, Madhya Pradesh and West Bengal. The Muga silkworms belong to the genus Antheria asama. The larvae of this genus are reared on some trees found only in the state of Assam. The airy silk is produced by the moth Philosemia ricini. Their larvae feed on castor leaves. It is also produced in Assam. In India, sericulture is an agro-based industry. It has played a vital role in the improvement of rural economy. Life history of a silk moth The total lifespan of the silk moth is about 50 days. There are various stages in the life history of a silk moth. The life history begins with the hatching of eggs into young caterpillars or larvae which then grow into pupa or chrysalis and then finally transforms into adult moths. An adult female moth lays 300 to 500 eggs on the leaves of mulberry tree. The eggs are round and yellowish white in color but turn gray around the time of hatching. The newly hatched larvae is about 3 mm long and somewhat black in color. The larvae feed on the mulberry leaves and grow in size. The larvae shed their skin four times periodically in a process called molting. After the fourth molting, the mature larva stops feeding and rests on a twig. The larva possesses two large silk glands that are modified salivary glands. These glands secrete a clear viscous fluid which on exposure to the air gets hardened and form a fine silk fibre. And thus, a cocoon is spun around the body of the larva. The filament forming a cocoon is continuous and may measure from 700 to 1100 meters in length. The full-grown larva then pupates inside the cocoon. In about 10 days, the pupa develops into a winged adult. This adult moth secretes a substance and dissolves one end of the cocoon. It now escapes out through the opening in the cocoon. The adult silk moth is creamy white in color and has a flat body with small wings. It lives for only two to three days.